Welcome back, traders. It's Tim with Irvin here. Uh, today we are gonna be do reanalyzing our week, our video that we did on Saturday, our uh, pre week, and our video that we also created on Sunday. And today is the day where you will see if things work out or not. All right, so let's go. Uh, this is for the week of November 16 to the 20. Let's go straight up to the to work and see if everything makes sense. Let's go ahead and start with our USD JPY. Pay attention to what I told you on USD JPY. I said the market was still had room to go bullish. Most likely, I said market was gonna come back and read this our 50 to our 61 Fibonacci line. Boom, it went a little bit over, which is fine. And then from there, I said the market was gonna be in a bearish position. Bingo. Bingo. I saw it. I saw it as this is this is enormous, guys. This huge engulfing candle here. Uh, I don't know what's the massive trend in here, but this one worked out very well. So that's this is what I'm hoping, guys. This is exactly what I'm waiting to happen on Euro USD. So we're gonna get to that bit as well. But this is a, a great one. So so far this month, month of November. We have four trades going against us, and hopefully we're gonna count new loss in trade this week as well. But we see, so far, so good. All right, let's go ahead and analyze the next one. Guys, if you guys wanna participate, please do so, don't be shy. Let's go ahead and do the next one. This is uh, Euro AUD Canadian. AUD Canadian, I said the market on Sunday, uh, the market will still have room to go bullish, basically to retest the 23 now is the zero Fibonacci. This one is a it's a gorgeous trade, guys. Look at what look at where uh, brothers and sister is sitting right. I remember we are real time here. This is reality, but we are watching right now. So real time right now, brothers and sister are creating an amazing an amazing trade here letting us know the market it is coming as a bearish so in here market is is touching our cell zone where is our cell zone our cell zone is sitting inside of our uh fibonacci level which is it's the zero level so it's sitting right on the heart of it so all you gotta do is follow whatever rules you may have if you don't have rules do not trade it but this is what I called now. I said the market was gonna hit that location from there, boom, you were gonna be in it. So in here for instance, guys, to be honest, if, 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 you, if you take this trade here, market is paying you, well, there's no, there's no room, market will, uh, look, this is 10 pips, 10 pips could be a thousand bucks. I don't know what's on this account, but let, let, let's check. Hey, Irvin, we can't see the screen. Are you showing it? Oh, I didn't even know I was not showing it, gosh. All right, let me go ahead and share the screen because I didn't know I was not sharing. All right, uh, can you see it now? No, not yet. Yeah, the screen's up. You got the Audi CAD up. I see it. Okay, so uh, I don't know why it's not showing on your most likely. You can get out and come back. Um, okay, I see it so, now. All right, so I have far, to switch the pictures. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, this is it, guys. So in here, you know, easily nine pips could be all you need for the rest of the week, and so on. Uh, oh, I had two screen, one and two. That's what is showing up. All right, so uh, look, it works out pretty well. It's right now. It's just doing what I told you on Sunday. It has not moved that much. So all I had. To do here is practice patient and let the market work out on your favor but there is pips to be made guys super super easy to do uh let's go ahead and see the next one the next one is uh, uh, yes. you know you know um this thing the uh, the uh, aud card yeah is the master trade is not really uh, like daily and weekly i couldn't see it still it is bullish bearish I, I don't know, but I, did you I, see the master trade is a little bit? There is no weekly and uh, daily. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's still bullish. Is it because I see white dot dot in the weekly uh, and the uh, bullish side? 
that's why I was thinking it is just right to, you know, if bullish side, I can't see weekly and uh, daily and weekly is the right time, the right place. Yeah, it's still bullish. So in here is missing information. Uh, yeah. So right now, what do you think the market is doing at this present time? You, you're going to be um, uh, pull back probably. Yes. It is. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's exactly what it's doing. Yeah. So now, okay. now, trust me, PV works. If you, if you, if that's a me, you're going to stay on the trade for so long. Like this is a perfect example, guys. See, when you are in a, in, in a profit, move your trailing stop if you want and let the market follow you. And there you secure, you see, we see if we move it there, we secure in ourselves $32, right? And then you, no matter what happens with the market, you got $32 in your hands like it or not. But this 10 pips in there is a hundred bucks, easy. All right, uh, let's go ahead and analyze the next one. So far we had two going on our favor. Look at what happened with GDP, JPY. This is what I say on Sunday. This is the Sunday video. This here, I said the market was gonna do what? Market was that, it still had room to drop, retesting that 38 to our 50 Fibonacci line, boom. Perfect hit, guy. And from there, I said the market was gonna do what? It was gonna continue as bullish. Because in here, I see this guy that is bare, the market is in a buy position. So right now, it's working his magic up, but it's just not that strong. But it's just going there slowly, slowly. So far, so good. Nothing wrong with it. This is the most difficult part to hold these pairs here for a long time. That's why I always tell you guys, you guys have to find your niche. It's either you're going to be scalping the market or either you're going to pull a position on Monday and get out on Friday. Or you can use multiple different accounts. You can have two accounts or three accounts, one for scalping, one for long term. If you ever find anyone from master, uh, master trend to master trend, uh, it's going to see for a very long time. You have to... That is the most difficult part of finding yourself how you want to trade, but you need to stick to it. Whatever it works for you, stick to that plan until you master and you become a beast to that, to that strategy. All right, but so far, so good. So we got three going in our favor. Let's go to the fourth trade here. This is, this is my favorite pair here. This is Eero AUD. I love this pair here. Look. This is what I told you guys on Sunday. I said the market still have probably one or two more, three more candles here and then was gonna drop. No market drop from there, boom, it drops. If you would have put your trailing stop here on this one, 30, 40 pip, there's no way the market would have take you here. Look, uh, let me see, this is 39 pip. If you would have put, yeah, like 40, 50 pips, 60 pips, there's no way the market would have take you out. Right now, you would have bank all that, all that drop in here and then you would have moved your trailing stop Look, that drop in here was 112 pips. Then you would have moved your trailing stop and let the market do whatever it wants. It would have take you out, don't get me wrong, it would have take you out right now on this huge engulfing candle here. Anyway, you knew the market was doing what at this position? You guys knew the market was gonna give us a, a uh, reversal, a pullback. Can be, I don't think it's a huge reversal, but there it is, so far, Oh, I know the market, it is, I called it to be in a bearish position. Nothing wrong, this is this is good. This is good. All right, let me know if you guys want to participate. The next one is, I, I don't remember, I think it was a trader who asked me on Sober. So Irvin, can you analyze Sober for me? Sure, I, this is what uh, you guys were mentioned before we went live. Uh, this. This is a, uh, for another trader inside of our chat room. He said, Irvin, can you analyze this pair for me? So, sure. So, uh, let me move my trading stuff in here. Good. Look at this pair. That's only 25 pips. I don't know how sober pay, to be honest, but that's that would be $675 in your packet, only with 26 uh, pips. That is a massive guy. So in here, that means this this is a bit over a thousand dollars. But then, look, look at what I call you on this pair. Whoever was this trader, congratulations for calling this out. 
and saying that Marco is going to be in a better position. Look what I say. I say from, right from the neck. I grab this this pair right from the neck, and I say, okay, now let's go down. So let me go ahead and bring my epic pants. Look at here. Boom. I said that Marco is going to come back and retest that 61.8 Fibonacci line. For now, it's working its magic down. So it's not going bullish. So, so this is another good one in our favor. Then once they hit that level in there, market will do us more retracement, then we'll continue as bearish because we are in a bearish position. Unless if you think otherwise. If you do, let me know. Comment below, right? Anyway, this is going to go live for our uh, world. So comment below if you have any question and let us know. So we are here to help you. If you want to bring up any pair that you wish for Saturday and Sunday, also comment below and let us know. But that's easy. That's easy money in there, guys. Market is performing exactly what I told you. All right. Look at the next one. USDCHF. Were you were in this trade? Because if you did, you will be in a profit trade here. Look at what I said. I clean it. I call this and I said the market was bear, was pulling down. The reason is why did I say that? Because this guy, this is the boss here, brothers and sisters, and the magic arrow was letting us know, okay, now we are going in a bearish position. Sure you are. Then this guy give us a reversal. Boom, reversal was huge. So, and I stay, I, I make my decision going continuation of the bearish position based on this multiple time frame four hours arrow in there. And then look at what happened. Market continuous bearish. Guys, if you guys go back to your uh to the uh to the scalping method, this one I'm pretty sure you can see clearly the market was in a sell position. It's very simple. When you have rules, everything will come up to you. And sometimes, guys, when you get confused, just walk away off your chart, get a break, and, and trust me. Sometimes when you are frustrated, you don't see things clearly, just, you know, take a break and then come back and everything will be a lot more easier. But this one was straightforward, guys. So now, pay attention to what I say on Sunday. I say, okay, market from this position was going to be in a buy position, right? But look at what showed up now. Now it's giving us a confirmation and said, Irving, now in real time, if I had to analyze this in real time, which I had to move this, right? So this, oh, let me go ahead and remove this. So this level here is no longer valid. So I will say right from, right from the market is sitting, now we are expecting to see in a buy position for the rest of the week. Unless if you think, uh, if, if you think it's something else, but I think, that's what we're seeing. All right. Do you guys have any questions? Any of these pairs were yours or not? Also, let me know. Uh, let's go ahead and analyze the next pair. So far, guys, look. So far, how many have we analyzed? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pairs going in our favor six pairs guys and all you need is only one some time to be trading for the whole rest for the whole week because i'm anal i usually analyze 11 to 12 pairs week after week after week and all you do is is like i always said these are not signal but if you have our system then you should go back and match it with our rules if it meet your qualification yes it is because some of these trades are my trade, real trades. Nothing wrong with that. Because I know these are very accurate. I take my time behind scene, making sure everything is lined up so I can give you the best of the best to the world and to you guys as well. All right, let's go ahead and analyze GBP USD. Hopefully, everyone is on this trade. Pay attention to what I said on Sunday. What did I say on Sunday? I said the market was not ready to drop yet. It was not ready to drop. Obviously, if you don't have multiple time frames, you are not gonna see this guy here letting us know, yes, now the market is, is dropping, right? It's, we're looking for a sell. 
but on Sunday, nothing was there. So all I say on Sunday was the market still had room to go up, sure it did. And then I thought the market was gonna come back and you know, give us three more, four, three to four candles here, and then was gonna drop. No, now that we see in the chart, we are, you know, we can think more clearly and say, okay, now we are seeing the drop, it need to happen from this location now. Because I'm looking here for a sell position. Anyway, pay attention what our uh, our brothers and sister is letting us know here. Sell, sell, uh oh, real time. All it matters is in a sell position. That's all what that's I'm looking for in here. But so far, so good. Another good one, guys. Another good one. Now we have a better position in our money. I don't even know. I would love to see what is our next strategy doing, but I'm not gonna do it today. Today is a different, we're just uh, starting what we did on Saturday and Sunday. All right, let's go ahead and check USD Peso. And I saw, congratulations to everyone, to be honest. I, uh, yesterday that we were here live, some of you were entering on Peso, and this pay here is great. If you are making fifth, congratulations. But this pair here uh, is in a sell position. Um, are you uh, guys? Are you guys on on this on USD peso? If you are, please let me know. I think uh, you guys should be making money. If you're not, I don't know. Yeah, I'm in USD peso. Good, good. I think you sent. This is Eric, right? I think you sent a uh, a picture of it. But look at what I call this on Sunday, guys. This is what I said on Sunday. I said that I thought the market was still gonna drop, you know, three or two more candles. This, if you would have put your, your trailing stop above the four hours here, you still you still on this trade here. So you would have be right now, you would have you would have be finally start getting pips out of it. You would have be in profit right now. But the market is selling. So this guy here, now, in my opinion, yeah, if you are on this one, yes, you should be. And profit. This is what the market is paying. The market is in a sell position. So nothing wrong with this trade as well. This is another great, great one to be in it. Overall, we're looking only for sell in this particular pair. It's not doing anything else. Look at that clear trend in there. It's beautiful. Boom. Market is dropping. Market is not going up. It's not going up. You know, guys, I was watching. Yes, sir. I have a question. Um, is there any way you can set up the notification to not get so many messages? Because every time I turn it, but it's like every hour. Well, you, you can turn off you can turn off the time frames that you want. Uh, let's say you want to see only notification on four hours and daily. You can go to the setting and turn off your weekly and your monthly. I mean, you're not gonna get much on month uh, weekly and monthly, or Which if you want. Or if you want to see only the four hours, you can just leave only the four hours. But if you put it on that, it will give you a notification every hour, right? No, it's not every, every hour. Every four hours? Every four hours. Unless if there's a signal coming in. But I mean, that's what you want, man. Eh? Like you want the system to let you know if something come up, you go back in there and check. Because it's a second eyes that is, is mm -hmm. reading the data for you. Okay. Instead of you going uh, being slave for if you're a PC, I I don't I don't change it. So the four hour will be your best, right? Yes, yes. Right. And then from there, obviously it's gonna it's not gonna take you that long to uh, check what's the master trend doing in in, in that in that trade. Once you get that notification, you know, zoom out of the chart and check. Okay, I'm going with the trend. Okay, bingo, take that trade. Okay. Gotcha. No problem. So far, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pair, guys. So we are a hundred percent so far. Yeah. All right, let's let's check out Euro GBP. Ah, this is my pair, guys. This pair here, I'm on this pair. It's not much, to be honest. Market has not done much this week. This week is very slow, very slow. Uh I'm on four trade out of these 12 pairs that are analyzing here. And this is one of them. 
So this is what I call, this is what I say on Sunday. I say on Sunday, Michael was gonna be in a buy position, was not ready to drop yet. Look at what this guy was letting us know here. Okay, it says Irving, I'm in a sell position, and I'm still in a sell position. But I knew that this guy was not fully ready yet. It was getting ready for the drop, but it was not there yet. So uh, I knew the market need to take, you know, go a few more candle up, and then finally it was gonna firm to continue in a sell position. That's exactly what happens. From there, market, boom. Look at what I, I said. I said market was gonna be right at these levels here. Look at that, boom, brothers and sisters. Look at that, this guy here sitting in there. And then, look, perfect, guys, perfect. Right now, if we had to analyze the market, I see this guy here forming as in a buy position. In my opinion, yes, it could go back on a bullish position but uh, I need to check. I can check the, uh, you know, this copy method and see if the market is still uh, trending down. If it's still trending down, I would not get up. But this is so far, it's working in our favor. It's not doing much. If you wouldn't be in, in profit right now, all you do is you move your trailing stop. That's it. Forget about it. Walk away, continue with your life. It's nothing wrong. If the market take you out, guess what? The market will take you out and I guarantee pips now, you will not be in the red club. All right. Hey, hey Earth. Pips. Yes, sir. How you doing? Um, could we go back to the pound US dollar for a second? Sure. And then pu pull it out like we're looking for the master trend. I just want to check something on my chart. Look at that, doesn't want to go back now. Strong. Oh. Bear with me. Sure. I don't know. That's weird. We got a, a good signal, but that's, that's not want to go back. Oh gosh, let me delete this. All right, let me click in here. Yeah, I'm sorry, Elliot. For some reason. All right, we'll, we'll it's just that in a couple of instances with the master trend, I'm going a different direction than you are. And I want to see if I'm reading it wrong or if there's something I'm missing. Like take uh, take the Audi cat. Well, we can't go. Can we go to the Audi cad? Mm. Or it won't it won't change charts at all. I don't know. That's weird. Man. It never happens. It was it's just all you're doing. It's just overloading your system. No, I just, okay, let me, let me go to AUD Canadian. All right, uh, let me pull that what's, up. What's wrong with this one? Um, no, I'm not, I'm not, just pull out, uh, uh, zoom out till you can see the master trend, please. The, yeah, this is a bullish market. This is what, okay. Sarah, this is what Sarah was talking about. Right. So, so the one that says bearish is really not in line, even though this, that's probably a really strong support because no. the, the monthly, the daily and the weekly, uh, aren't all in a row like they are in the bottom of the chart, right? Which is why I have an up arrow on it, but we're looking to go down. So you're, you're, I guess that means you're playing a pullback then. That's exactly what you said too. Yep. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, so check. I didn't make a mistake. No, you you fine. Let, let's check what uh, GBP USD is doing, because I don't know. Uh, what was your opinion on this one? Uh, um, GU, I have it. Uh, I have it as a master trend going up. Yes. Bullish. That's what it is. Okay, great. So this is once again, this is a pull, uh, a, a strong pullback. Yes. This is this. And, <clears throat> this is what you guys need to understand when I make videos. Uh, I give the world every single movement. Right, right, right. Yeah. So that's why, you know, I always say, when, you know, if, if you think some of these pairs benefit or qualify your your rules, please go back to your chart and and, and find out, okay, I'm going to be on this pair, yes, uh, or not. So in here, now you clearly seeing uh, the market is giving us a, a, a PV. So now you understand. Right, no, for sure. Yeah. And if I could put my own two cents in about the uh, about your uh, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday, you know, videos of 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 the pairs. 
I liked it in the olden days where you picked out the pairs you were most excited about, and then you did whatever number they are, whether it's five, six, seven, eight, or 10, and not do the pairs that someone suggests to you that might not be as cool as you think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was going way back to the old system you used to do, you would pick the pairs that you were most excited about and then and then demonstrate those and that you know and that brought me along rather than someone say hey can you analyze this other pair i know it's a learning experience but uh, somehow when you picked out your pairs i felt that was that was a way more powerful yeah. um, See, presentation yeah in my opinion guys like AUD USD is a good pair euro usd is a good pair ncd canadian is a good pair gold is a is awesome I don't trade gold that much, but it's good. I love Euro, Euro GBP. I love Mexico peso, uh, the USD peso. GBP is a great one as well. Uh, silver, I don't care. This is another great one that I really love. Euro AUD, AUD Canadian, and USD JPY. I really don't care about USD CHF, uh, silver, and GBP JPY. I really don't care about those pairs. But the rest of all these pairs here, they are my high motivation ones. Now, since I already, you know, like 80 or 90% of these pairs here, then we got, we have three pairs that uh, we can change it based on if you guys, you know, want to throw any different pairs in the future, that's fine, but we have room for three. But to be honest, Elliot, this is, this is, this is what I love, this pair here. Because I had these pairs that I did on Saturday, they were on the weekly. So I rearranged everything to put them on the Saturday because someone asked me, okay, now can you put this together in, in an order that they wish? But they were, the, to be honest, they were the same, exact same thing. But these are my pairs, almost all of them. They say those three, they are not. But I mean, I'm here, if, like, I do respect what you're saying, and we can put a, a survey and see what everybody also agree. But we got three, I got three out of all of them that don't, I don't care. We can change them as, as you guys want. But th to be honest, this 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 uh, this analysis here, guys, is very accurate, man. It's very accurate. Um, I, I take my time. It's not like I'm gonna make a video just for fun and, and you know and give you a crappy video. No, I take my time to make sure that everything is very accurate. So far, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pair for the week of November 16. Well, 16, yes, 16 to 15, right? 15, 16 to the 19 or 20. I don't even know. Let me check my calendar, but I'm getting confused. Sometimes you don't even know. Look, 16 to the 20. Nice. Boom, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Nothing. So far, so good. So it's working now. Now we know what the rest of the week is gonna do. But let's now let's pay attention what silver is, uh, gold uh, gold is doing. Gold is in a great one. I really love it. I don't trade that much. But look, look at what I say on Sunday. This yes, yeah, Saturday. Now we're on the Saturday video here. It's clearly. Clearly, it was right in front of our eyes. The market was, look, this PV here, a lot of you guys were talking about this PV here. And I remember when I did a video the previous week on this, when I said the market was gonna be in a buy position, they was doing exactly what I told you. And then look at what happened here. A sell is coming down. Boom, market, look, market did pay you exactly what i told you so far based on this candle here boom done finito now from there market retraced back retracing to the 23 fibonacci line look at what happened perfect hits so right now we are coming where we are coming in this sell position here based on this candles are not unfortunately they are not on this uh, side here they are in in here but still market still in a sell we all know we all know that gold, it's selling. If you think 
you know someone comment on one of my youtube video on go and said uh i think he kind of like did a joke and said that uh that i was wrong the market was in a buy position well you know the world can do whatever they want i trade with rules so uh, this is a straight up in a bearish position but it, i don't know what kind of system this trader is using that he's seeing in a buy position <laughs> but good luck to him or her uh yeah man i mean that's that's what the market is doing on this one to be honest guy look we are we are hitting another week man it's, it's just it worked fine I don't know, to be honest. I don't know if you guys were any of, uh, trading any of these pairs. Because if, if you were and you said that you you lost a trade, then I just don't know why did you do it. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm giving you the live trading here. You are seeing it as well. So we all are on the same page. All right. Do you guys have any questions, guys? Any question for me? Let me go ahead and bring that question, comment. Any comment below? Anything? Are you guys satisfied making money? Look at those $100 bills, guys. Ah, ah. Let's go. You know, one thing that I forgot to say, guys, is the following. Is that I'm not your financial advisor. And we are all here as a family making pips together. And that's all it is. All right, so, so far, so good. All right? Uh, I want to show you NCD Canadian, but I don't know what is going on with this one. Uh, Eric says, I'm losing on Euro USD. Oh, man. Evie? Yes. Is that any particular time for scalping? Uh, what do you mean? On, on today? Is that, is that, no, is that which, which time is better? What time? Like uh, a London break or... Uh, it's, it, to be honest, Sarah, uh, yeah. when when the rules meet, I mean, they give you the signal. Yeah. It could it could give you the signal on the uh, New Year session, or either on the London, the beginning of London, or either mm -hmm. can give you it on Sydney or Tokyo. Sometimes I just wait for setup, and I love to enter sometime before I go to bed on my Sydney time, and I know I'm gonna be a negative in that particular time, but when I wake up in the morning, cause I usually, uh, I'm on, a, um, the good thing about my time frame is that I'm on, on uh, London and New York. So when I wake up, I'm always on profit. But I, I just take it and, and eventually the market is still gonna have some uh, back and forth on the candle. So, and it will put me in negative, but I don't, I, I mean, I, I had that so long that I, I just trust the system. Yeah, because this time, uh, um, not for long term, long trade really, it's better to do scalping. I'm really struggling for scalping. <laughs> yeah, because I live in London, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the USA. You, you have a good time frame in there, so <laughs> you so, better uh, break. So, uh, so what do you, what, what's your niche? Are you just scalping or what? I need to, to more scalping if I can. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> scalping is not a bad deal. The only thing is that you need to learn how to grab it and let it go. And that's the mean that you're gonna be on this trade for so long. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I do. In and out, oh. in and out. Yeah, I'm learning your video really. I'm getting better, but timing <laughs> yeah uh let's let's check what euro usd this is what eric says that he's losing look at this pay here uh i don't know uh this is what i thought market was gonna do on sunday see this i put a position in there as a sell say okay sell and then market went back up okay that's it how many we got there we got four four trade right so far, we are 3.5 in blue pips. So now, it's just a matter of waiting. But uh, is, look, this is this is perfect, Eric. I'm uh, thank you, Sarah. Appreciate. It. Look at look at this one here, Eric. Now the market is is 
it did respect this level here, level one. Uh oh, it did respect level two. And now it came and meet almost your third level here. So now I'm seeing here a guy going a, in a sell position. This is a gorgeous, a gorgeous uh, engulfing candle here coming down. <sighs> now but now it's just you gotta practice patient uh but make sure you activate uh your stop loss and then let it go but this is good i mean so far so good all uh, right let's check uh ncd canadian um you just gotta be pr uh, practice patient uh, <laughs> oh he said he's only down 50 pips uh hopefully you know it work out in a favor, man. So far, so good. I don't see anything wrong. Um, to be honest, this week is very slow in my end. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't have much success yesterday because I was having some freaking hard time trying to connect with you guys. But uh, I mean, but so far, I think I make only like 350 bucks so far. So, uh, it's copy the, the market, but usually I love to make anything over 2K easily, easily, easily doing it week after week after week after week. But let's pay attention what NCD Canadian is doing, guys. NCD Canadian, look at what I said on, sa on Saturday. As I clearly said the market was not ready to drop in that particular time. This guy was giving us the signal. Market was still in a buy position. Perfect. Boom. It hit that level there. Four hours, weekly. Uh oh. Magic arrow showed up in there as well. An amazing location. So that means from there, yes, we are looking from this particular area to continue in a sell position. That's it. It's doing it. So far, we have none of this trade doing otherwise. They they are telling us the same story that I that I said it was gonna do on Saturday and Sunday. You know, Edwin. Yes. You, what's wrong with this week? All the master trade is not really clear. Even this one, there is no weekly and uh, uh, daily uh, the dot and the monthly. Only monthly is there. Almost. On yeah, in a bullish, in a, a bearish. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you, we, you have to check the news all the time. <laughs> but uh, I mean, they, they work so far. I don't see anything wrong. It's just market is, is basically not performing as much. So mm -hmm. it's just going sideways. But overall, it will do it. But when I just don't know, so it's not much profit. Thank you. But if you can make, you know, anything over five hundred dollars a week, it's a in my opinion. I wish I couldn't make it till now. It's a good week. <laughs> I like anything over two k. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, I mean, it's it's doable. All right, let's let's check AUD uh, uh, AUD USD. This pair here is good. This pair here is awesome. Look at that. Boom. Finally, something went against us. That's good. One finally went out against us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen pairs. I gave you this week, guys. Thirteen pairs. Out of thirteen pairs, one. So we are a ninety-nine point nine percent of winning ratio in here so far. But let's check what our scopy method is doing here because now everything will make a lot of sense in here. It will be so freaking easy to identify. Look at that. Mark is still in a buy position. Now we're getting ready, guys. This is good. I mentioned this pair yesterday. This is awesome. So that means that we are waiting for a magic to happen in this level here. So far, it came and retest this level here. Look, boom, boom, boom. So, uh, Sarah, you still there? Sarah, what do you think we are we are waiting in this particular area here? 
Because this is good. Um, this is good. Yeah. Um, I think you're going to be go down. But why? Give us, give us an answer of why do you think? Uh, we're going to wait another arrow. I mean, the arrow is there. So what, uh, think what do you think? Bullish, is it? Yeah, it's bullish. Not really bearish. Yeah, still bullish. But it, it, it's, yeah. it's really test, re test but probably nice levels yeah. here. After this uh, yellow line, the yellow dot, you're going to be go down. Now, why? Why do you think is it? Why because it so, so, so many places, the same places is uh, uh, retesting. So, yeah. What else? Uh, what else? It, it, and there is, there is arrow as well in bearish. All right. Can someone help her? Is, uh, you're, you're missing one more thing, Sarah. <laughs> you are right. The four hour PSR dots? Yes. Body, yeah. Yeah, power body. Yes, that's exactly what we're missing here. Once that, got, that PSR cup in there, I'm going at. I'm just waiting very patiently on this one. And boom, I'm looking for a cell. It's still bullish, isn't it now? Yes. Yeah. But it, it, it's in a very nice location. So this drop here, guys, it will be a very massive drop. Yeah, and five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes giving you the cell position here, but it's not okay. ready in four hours. You don't you don't yeah. take the order yeah. based on what uh, five minute, fifty minute, thirty minute, and one hour is doing. <gasps> you know the the five minute is just going up, very big uh, candle. I mean, it's still bullish. Yeah. Still bullish. It's still bullish, yeah. Yeah, so Eric just said the exact same thing. That's good. Always pay attention. This this template here is a lot easier to identify because you already know our rules. So this is just an uh, additional uh, indication and you know, okay, we're in a cell here, but we're not fully ready there. So it's nothing in there. All right, let's do one more example. Let's do uh, here AD. I love this pair. Look at this one. This one work out well. Now you're gonna get to see the picture king. See that? Mark is still, now Mark is, is still what? Supposedly, what's the master trend in here? Ah, uh -huh, look at that. Look at that when the rules work in your favor, guys. Boom, we know we're selling, right? So, <laughs> all right, Eric. Uh, let, now let, let's see here. Look, at, we're selling. You should not be in a buy position because if you are, this is a PV. This PV is game over. Finito. Boom. Done. This guy is still in charge because all you the sellers are still in charge. This is the big boss here, not this guy. So this is is trying to fool you, but I don't. I don't. I'm still thinking it was still gonna drop. Hero USD is still is in sale, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. What's your opinion on that? Uh, uh, I have one sale. One, one. Yeah, but uh, it, it, it's, let me see. It'll, it's still, it'll, still it'll, pushing up. Look, four, four point seven pips on that. Okay. Hi, Evan. Yes, sir. Do you ignore? I see a, a bullish candle there. Is is it not uh, have an impact? Uh, Euro AUD. This candle yeah. here. That's bullish candle and they yeah. retest it on there. Yes. Uh, but look, look at what it came and retested because you, this is a PV. Look at this level here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. So it came and touched that area in there. So yeah. when, you saw the trending here is bearish. The trend is not bullish. So that's why pay attention to these guys in here. All these guys are selling as well. So why would you need to be in a bad position? Unless, yeah, unless, unless if you're gonna stop them. Even if you, this scalping the market is not good going in a bad position. Cause it's not in a bad position. Uh, yes, sure. it, it, it gave you the bullish position in here. There's nothing you can do, but I'm, I'm going with what everybody's doing. If everybody is selling, I'm, I'm gonna be selling. I'm not gonna go again unless 
unless if the pullback is valid based on the rules. But we, we trade with rules, so nothing is, nothing is telling you to be in a buy position here. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do one more since you're here. Let's do the US press. Look at Please, GBP card. All right, let's Please. Uh, let, 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 let him do this and then I'll do the next one. So. Okay. All right, so what's the story here, sir? Cloud, what's the story here? Which pay is this? Uh, this is the USD peso. Let me, let me go ahead and, uh, and put a watermark. There you go, the USD peso. Oh, the okay. What do you think is, is going on here? Is is clean? Yeah, this is this this is this is we 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 are still in sell position. Right. Look at this fake cow here. This is telling you I'm in a yeah. position. Yes, you were in a by position, but everything flipped on this side, and nothing. And this guy tried to give yeah. you a fake, a fake signal. There was nothing there. Yeah. Now this guy is still confirming this guy here and this guy here. So everything is coming in the market is selling. So that's why the market is selling. selling. It's still selling. Yeah. You see how you can identify this in no time and in and out quick. All right, let's do the next one that Sarah wanted to do. Uh, which one is the next one, Sarah? GBP card. GBP. Thank you. I have it here. I don't have it here. Oh. Okay, let me add it. So what are you doing on that one, sir? On sale. I think it's sale. Uh, no, I don't. I don't have it in here. It's not. No. Why? I didn't analyze that. <laughs> No, you didn't, but I, I, I did by myself, really. Yeah, but I mean, I don't mind doing it, helping you out. Okay. Let's see, let's see what's the story behind this. I really don't All know. the testing area is... Uh... But uh, guys, uh, you guys heard uh, what Mr. Elliot said that, uh, I mean, I can keep doing what you uh, asked me to do. But we still have room. If you guys want me to leave the other pairs uh, that, are, that I know they are they are in a good position, based on my knowledge, I can leave those. But we have room to manipulate three different pairs. Uh, and I mean, you guys can throw it out on Saturday and Sunday and say, okay, Urban, uh, can you please do this? And I mean, it will help you. Thank but, you, we are very helpful. But this one is still bullish. It's not bullish, it's bearish, isn't it? No, it's still bullish. Is it? Okay. Sorry, look, you cannot mess up on this side. Which pair is this? Um, this is uh, GBP Canadian. Let me bring the watermark. I know that is missing in the weekly one in the middle. Yeah, but Sarah, look, this is basic for you now. But the, the double but this, arrow. This... Look, what do you think is missing? Look at this, sir. Look at the bottom. The, the white dot. Yeah, yeah, weekly. I think he's not in. When you are in doubt like this, just don't even bother. Walk away. Because in here, basically, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to go with what everybody said uh, is going bullish. All these PV, sure. They, they, you know, the market is crazy in here. It's moving sideways. Yes, but the market still where? The market still heading where? You saw it. Is the market bearish or bullish? It's bullish, I think. Oh, you think this guy is right? Yes, it is. This yeah. is supposedly here, you were doing a what? A sell. But who's in charge? This guy here. And boom. That's what you want here. Market is still in a bad position. Look at this huge engulfing camera. Now it came in the respect level one, level two. Level three. Now I need to take a break. Now, if I have to analyze in here, yes, market will make most likely drop to this level here and then continue back up. 
uh, it does not show me any signal the market is gonna be in a bearish position for December. So we sh you should be looking, the, uh, the system should be able to tell you the market is forming a new master trend for December. Nothing is getting ready for December. Market here is still gonna be whack, wacky, <laughs> going all, all over the place. <coughs> so, but this is not a good trade. Uh, no, no. This, this type of trade here, I would not uh, analyze it. This is bad, bad business. If, I would not bring you something like that. I always, always zoom out of the chart and look at the picture for miles and miles away. All right, let's do. Uh, let, sorry. I'm sorry? Which, which area is the safe, safe, safe area? Like uh, confidence, 100%. What do you mean? Like example, if the arrow, which if it's in the middle, is it safe to trade or at the uh, top or at the bottom? Well, you need to find out. Look, you need to find out who's in charge. Is, is the master trend on your side yeah. or not? Mm. That's yeah. what it is. Remember, we have only, we ask ourselves, what is the master trend doing? What is the yeah. market and sister going? Where is our four hours going? That's it, sorry. Thank you. Okay, yes, yes. All right. Uh, let me see. Who else want to? Uh, anyone else has a question? Because that's all I have, guys. I have a question. Yes, yeah, sir. How how you use the radar when it all the lines? Radars is gonna be based on the four hours, daily, weekly, and monthly. When they all line up. The, yes, they're all gonna line up based on the, whatever the market is doing, but we just don't take trade just because you're gonna see all the uh, radar forming, giving you that, that direction. You still gotta be checking if, if you are doing a pullback. Okay. But it's okay if everything matches the master trend. Oh yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it is. It's the same thing, it's like you're zooming out. Don't, it doesn't matter what the radar is gonna let me know. I'm still gonna do my full analysis and say, okay, let me check what this trade is doing. Okay, this one I'm still gonna buy position and I'm gonna take this or whatever. Or if it's going on my favor with the buy position, yeah, sure, I will go ahead and take it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man, that's that's all I have, guys. Uh, so uh, you guys, uh, if we meet tomorrow. Uh, please let me know uh, if you guys want to do, maybe we can take some order doing the uh, scalping method if there is something in the market so we can do more trading or whatever. Whatever you guys need, let me know and uh, we can do another video. But so far, hopefully, you know, you guys are making pips because out of 13 pairs, only one is going against our analysis. And it's early, it's early in the week. All oh, 12 pairs, guys, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, so, uh, I mean, if you guys don't have any questions, I guess that's all I have. So I will see you tomorrow. Let's do another session tomorrow. And you will take charge. Or you know what we can do tomorrow? Maybe we can unmute one or three of you guys and you guys explain each other what the market is doing. So even if, if you're gonna be wrong, the next person can correct you. And like that, you guys will master everything. And then if I have to jump in, I will be more than happy to do so to correct it. But I think that will help. But this is very straightforward. About what time would that be? That we can do it uh four, either four p.m. is fine, Easter time. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, thank you guys. Uh stay safe and uh we go back and do this tomorrow uh four p.m. Easter time. Thank you, Irving. Thank you, Irving. No problem. Take care. Thank you, both. Bye.